We're here to celebrate the birth of a new platform, a new device, a new system, and a new set of services that we believe will be game-changing. Today, we are continuing our strong tradition at Deutsche Telekom and T-Mobile of being pioneers of the open mobile internet. With today's event, we are launching the world's first Android-based mobile phone. A developer will be able to use it as a platform, and they'll be able to develop their, uh, their application on the on Android platform. But also, because of its openness, a developer will be able to modify the platform and make the platform better. Therefore, because the platform is open, we think uh, Android is somewhat future-proof. Consumers that have a desire to connect and really use the Internet have really not found the mobile Internet up to this point to be very compelling. We're going to change all that. So how are we going to do that? Let's take a look at some of the amazing things you can do with the T-Mobile G1. It's got a great touch screen. A swipe across gives you more elbow room for the cool stuff you want to see and do. You can also long press to open up options and features that launch with a tap. Got a favorite picture of someone you love? Frame it and drop it right to your home screen. In fact, you can drag and drop any application just like that. Want music? We've made that easy too. One click ordering on Amazon gives you access to the best music in anyone's pocket. It has a really terrific music player. And with one long press, you can go deeper on what you're really interested in, uncovering related material, like more song options. The G1 also multitasks, so you don't miss a thing. If a friend wants to meet up, you're alerted instantly. Simply pull down the window shade to keep the conversation going. The G1's not just a great phone, it's a powerful communicator with a full slide-out keyboard. Instant messaging lets you stay in touch and in the know. Type a few letters and up comes your contact. And if you have an address, just click and there it is on the map. G1 takes you beyond data to get you to the information you need in a way you've never seen before. Features like directions and traffic view help you never be lost again or late. Street View opens up a whole new world and lets you check out landmarks to help you quickly get where you're going. Panning around with the touchscreen is great, but what really brings it to life is compass mode. Simply press the menu button to start compass mode and the scene moves as you do. So let's go back to the home screen. Of course, there's a great web browser with tons of useful features. The browser links you to the websites you would expect to see on your PC, even if you're on your back porch. It's simple to navigate the biggest web pages using on-screen controls to zoom in on exactly what you want to see. Opening multiple web pages is a snap. No matter what you're doing, search is always at your fingertips with a dedicated button on the keyboard. Launching a search tailored to wherever you are on the device helps you find what you're looking for quicker. That means an address search when you're in your address book or a web search when you're on a web page. If you want to share your web pages, that's easy too. Another simple long press and you can send a link by email right from the browser. is more than just a great phone. 
It comes loaded with great applications. But if you want more, tap in to the Android market. User ratings and the ability to easily download what you want make it easy for you to get the best the Android development community has to offer. Everything from breakthrough innovations to familiar favorites. With a steady stream of new programs and applications appearing, there's always something new to discover. Uh, first of all, Cole Broadman, uh, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about pricing and availability? Thanks, David. Um, pricing for the T-Mobile G1 with Google will be 179. Starting today, existing T-Mobile customers in limited quantity can order them uh, over the internet. There'll be a microsite available that will publish uh, the links for that uh, during this press conference. They can order it, have it shipped to their home as soon as the product becomes available in stores. The commercial launch date will be uh, October 22nd and will be available around uh, all team selected T-Mobile retail stores and markets and third-party dealers. Uh, last quick point is that we're very excited to bring innovation on the pricing side as well. We'll have two very compelling uh, data and messaging plan options for consumers to uh, purchase to use the device. It'll be a $25 option with unlimited uh, web and internet usage and uh, some messaging. And there'll be a $35 option, which includes unlimited messaging and unlimited mobile web and internet. Is there going to be a desktop application for syncing all of the applications and all the pictures and all of all the everything else that's going to be on the phone? The device is really an encapsulated mobile and, and uh, uh, network service, so there's not a desktop application initially. Uh, all the synchronization will happen in the back end seamlessly with the uh, device and the network. What really gives me pleasure with this uh, launch of the, the G1 with T-Mobile is uh, I'm a bit of a geek and uh, I really like tinkering with things. Uh, you know, the way I grew up and uh, playing in uh, college and grad school with computers, being able to write my own programs and uh, you know, mess around with uh, Linux and uh, just touch all, all parts of the system. Um, I get that same kind of pleasure uh, playing with Android on the G1 here. I have one in my pocket. I've been using it for um, for a while now. Oh, great. Oh, we are taller. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. I just want the height record to go on.